everybody, it's me. I'm so full as I see. <laughs> Listen, you ever have one of those days you just feel blah? Well, today is one of those days, and I feed a biscuit. So today, here and there, you're going to hear my sexy voice. Shall we? Let's go. Okay, to start off, you're going to need to preheat your oven, 175, that is, in Europe. Two cups of plain flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, 85 grams of unsalted butter, better when frozen, and a half cup of buttermilk or milk, your choice. Yeah? Are you ready? Getting it all together? All right, here we go. Okay, once you have your flour, your sugar, your salt, and baking powder, all the ingredients in your bowl, you eventually want to take, hopefully, that frozen butter that you set it in the freezer. And you want to make pieces out of it and chip it away into your ingredients. This helps so that when you stir it all together, the butter is still in pieces because it's frozen. And you will eventually understand what I mean once we carry on into the making of these wonderful butter milk biscuits. Okay, now you want to take a little bit of the flour, or maybe you want to take it out of the bag or some way. You want to have some extra flour set aside so that you can make room on your countertop or wherever you're going to roll out these biscuits, and you want to put a little flour there. As we're getting ready to add our buttermilk, I had a little bit of both, so I put both in there. You're going to take your hand. It's okay. You do not need a machine. And make sure you take off your jewelry. Okay. Then you want to uh, proceed with the hand, the buttermilk, and the flour, and mix it together. Not too much. Not too much. You want to just make it so that it is uh, able to, to eventually come out in one piece and not so dry looking. That is a trick. You don't want your biscuits dry. Okay, again, you want to take some extra flour, put it in your hand, and you want to kind of maneuver around back and forth with the flour so that you are able to pick up all your dough at one time and place it on the flour that you have on the counter so that you can make one sort of big round pancake looking. However, do not pat it too flat, people. Who wants a flat biscuit? You want to be able to put something in between it, like a piece of meat or some jam or even some butter. But really, not too flat, okay? Okay, now look at here, good people. I didn't have a biscuit cutter. But it's okay. My mama didn't have one either. I took a plastic cup and I kind of warmed it with hot water around the rim so that when I dip it into my extra flour, it will nicely pick up the biscuit. Now, I didn't do so well here, but I, I made some good round biscuits. You know, I, I, I did my best. You go ahead. You want to place them in your oven at about 175 for about a good 15, 20 minutes. And voila, people, you got yourself some good biscuits. Now, all those chips of butter that you put in there is just dripping in that biscuit. So full of lies, so full of lies, so full of joy, I'm so full and sassy. Hey, please don't think that I forgot to give you an encouraging song. No matter what my day has been like, no matter what it has felt like, I'll always have enough in me to share with you. So I'm confident that tomorrow is going to be a better day. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow there'll be sun. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a 
day. Ah.